Hello everyone, I'm Sean Boyd here in Paradise, California. The removal of hazardous household waste here in Butte County is nearly complete. Phase two debris removal is now underway. It is the beginning of the largest, most complicated, and most expensive debris removal operation ever in California. The start of progress. The transition from phase one household hazardous waste removal to phase two debris removal is underway. Heavy equipment staged throughout fire ravaged Butte County, building a battle rhythm. The remains of more than 14,000 homes and businesses waiting for a lift into the back of a truck and a ride to one of two designated dump sites. To get it there safely without contaminating the environment along the way, every load is triple tarped, starting with burrito wrapping the material. Our main mindset is a mindset of environmental stewardship. Anthony Vanderschaff is the deputy operations chief for phase two. CalRecycle is the state lead. They have about 8,000 signed right of entry forms, ROEs that give them permission from homeowners to clear their properties. It's estimated the amount of debris that needs to be cleared could exceed 5 million tons. That's more than three times the amount removed from New York City's ground zero following the 9-11 attacks. It's a massive undertaking. We're shooting for a year and uh, we, it's obtainable, but it's gonna take some work. There are more than 40 teams working filling the more than 400 trucks that will continuously make the roughly three hour round trip to those landfills. Three contractors and all this activity, effective communication and coordination are their keys to success. We're really shooting to be the example. Um, we, we have a very good methodology in place. Uh, safety is primary, um, not only for our crew, but for the community. That's the whole reason we're out here is to put this town back together and get it healthy for everybody. Now, if you have opted in to the state-led debris removal program, you'll be given 24 to 48 hours notice so that you may walk your property with crews and retrieve anything that you may want to. Now, if you haven't opted in and want to, here's Monica Vargas with more. Thanks, Sean. If you were affected by the November wildfires and haven't yet turned in this very important document, a right of entry form, it's not too late. Butte, Ventura, and Los Angeles counties have extended the date that they'll be accepting right of entry forms to February 15th. A right of entry form allows state contractors to access property for phase two of the state's consolidated debris removal program. It's critical for all property owners with structures significantly damaged to clear debris. You can do this by either signing up for the state's consolidated debris removal program or clearing debris privately according to local standards and requirements to avoid creating a public nuisance and being subject to abatement procedures. To participate in the state-run debris removal program, people would need to fill out a right of entry form, also called an ROE, and that's just allowing the government and our contractors on the particular sites to remove the ash and contaminants. If you have questions about phase two, property owners can get help, whether that's completing ROEs or meeting with debris removal experts to answer your questions at the following locations. ROE Center, 202 Mariloma in Oroville, Debris Removal Operations Center, 26610 Agora Road in Calabasas. FEMA has also extended their deadline to register for disaster assistance to February 15th. As you can see, February 15th is a very important upcoming deadline for wildfire survivors. Help us spread the word to your friends and your family that were affected by the wildfires, and especially help us spread the word to those that have moved out of the area. Thank you. Sean? All right, Monica, thanks very much for that. If you'd like more information on the debris removal operations, go to ButteCountyRecovers.org, WildfireRecovery.org, as well as OESNews.com. For Monica Vargas and for everyone at Cal OES, I'm Sean Boyd in Paradise, California. Thanks for watching. Visit our online newsroom at OESNews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.